Well, hello, we've got a wonderful ride for you today. This is from Harrogate uh, up through Studley and then round to Lit Ripon and then back through the Nidderdale Railway. So we're starting just outside Harrogate in Ripley and then we work our way through some really nice places to see. You know, you can get an idea of the, the height of the hills around here. But then we make it to Studley. There's St Mary's and then the old gateway at the end of the causeway. And then we head back into Ripon and Ripon was really very impressive, the amount of work that they've done for the Remembrance Day. So we head out from Ripon, work our way south through Cockgrove and then into Harrogate. We just catch the edge of Harrogate and we stop down by the river for tea and flapjack. And then on the Nidderdale Railway, working our way back and that's the viaduct incredible sunset that we had that night uh, it was pouring with rain though most of the time and then back to the lay-by in Ripley so let's start in the lay-by and here we go so we're in the lay-by at the moment uh, where you can see a and start and then we'll be heading our way up through so we're not taking the main road we're off towards the side heading towards Studley going clockwise around that route so here we are now it is a fairly major road at this point but we soon leave and uh, these roads aren't too bad so let's head our way along here at one point it was completely clear and we saw some red kites attacking some roadkill in the middle of the road so it couldn't be that busy Okay, so over the crossroads and this is really through farmland so it looks more busy than it is and the road follows along look at the surface of the road it does have the occasional potholes but then doesn't most of the country so uh, down this little side road it's nice to be stopped by a horse box and a camper van having a chat through the window and not long up here we stopped and that's where we saw that wonderful church up on the hill There'd been quite a bit of flooding as well as a result of all the rain. And yep, so we ascended this bit of hill. Um, they'd been doing some flailing as well. So there were bits of timber and thorn in the road. So you do have to be a bit careful. But that's a matter of the timing. So there was that church on the top. Mostly walkers around here. So we're heading our way up to, to Studley and some very, very pretty villages made of that typical Yorkshire stone that we see on the way. Uh, you'll also see from the uh, the chart there that, that we're at the highest point really when we're at Studley. So here we go into the estate, follow round and there's St Mary's Church. Diane got off to take some pictures. And then we head on. Uh, lots of deer in the park so look out for the deer even though it is Chuck in Moraine, uh, there was one we saw, not the best quality, and then through the gateway at the end of the long drive. And then we're going to go ahead, turn left into the village and follow our way along through the village. Now the road quality is pretty good, we cross over and then we're going to head up this road which is not too busy. And we're now on the outskirts of Ripon. We head in to the town and then we stopped in the park. And the reason we did that was because uh, they'd put on this fantastic display of crocheted poppies ready for the Remembrance Day celebrations. Celebrations, not quite the right word. Remembrance Day services. And there was also this tree that had been uh, carved into scenes from or oh, characters from Alice in Wonderland which was interesting the Cheshire cat there grinning at us having our lunch yeah, I don't think it was a yew tree I think it was an old western red cedar Thuya plicata 
Queen of Hearts. And the bandstand decorated up. I hope it wasn't one poppy for each soldier from Rip and Lost, uh, because that would have been a very, very tragic story. Because there were thousands upon thousands of these poppies. The whole town. But you could also see that the autumn colour was looking fantastic. Some kids playing in the in the leaves over there. And there's a cafe there with toilets in it as well. So, wonderful. Yeah, it's a great town. Lots of quite nice shops there, and um, it's got a, quite a bit of history. I would recommend Ripon as a place to visit. Yep, they've even got crazy golf. So I think it's time we headed off. We had a nice conversation with an elderly lady there um, who had been having a bit of a bad time. So this is the Alice in Wonderland statue. So picked up the bike, walked it back out and then climbed on. Now for this bit you do have to go through the town. I'm not going to give you slow down directions for each turn. Uh, we made a few mistakes. Just be careful because there's a lot of one way and it's also quite fast. The vans are not interested in who you are. So we work our way out towards this um, church, Abbey. I confess I haven't looked that one up. And then back over the river and then we head out. We're going to take a left turn and then there's another left turn coming up just here. And now we're heading towards the back of beyond. We have to cross over the main road. And now we're following through into some farming community. Uh, I apologise if the quality of the video appears to be gradually declining. It's because it was getting darker by now. It gets particularly bad at the end. So here we go. Lots of evidence of railway. All these tunnels everywhere and we crisscross the railway and then we're heading out this bit of road here was quite fast actually I must admit and not necessarily the prettiest but this is leading us towards the Nidderdale Even though it's the end of October, beginning of November, uh, there's still a lot of trees on the uh, leaves on the oaks, but maybe not so many on the ash. And here we go, a left turn here. Not too long on this road before we head off into a minor back road uh, with quite a nice road surface, actually, not too bad at all. Uh, Again, they'd been doing a little bit of clearing. We've got to catch this main road for a short period. Again, that was fairly fast, but got a bit of a scent here. Not too much. Nice line of poppers. We go straight over, and at this point, we start getting towards the first part of the railway. Now we do have to go through a little bit more town or major road just to cut round. Uh, that was a nasty right turn. And this bit is an industrial estate that we have to go round or a big building development. It's all quite new. It's got that feeling of new. 
and this is the outskirts of Harrogate. So we work our way into the centre of Harrogate and then we're going to stop at the river and we had a cup of tea and a flapjack. It was actually very pretty here. This was a nice part and there's a pub nearby, in fact a couple of pubs, uh, but it was all shut by the time we got there. It's, you can tell it's quite dark. It's a fairly noisy photo. Tea and flapjack. Yay! Compulsory eating. Compulsory. <laughs> and then back up. We've got to cross this road here. Uh, there's a bus stop opposite, and then we get onto the the railway. It starts looking a bit like a path, uh, and it's quite curvy, but then it straightens up all of a sudden. Now it's getting pretty dark here, and the rain was coming in, hence the quality of the pictures deteriorating. But eventually we will get to that viaduct. Uh, you can see I've had to put my headlamp on, now it's getting much darker. Uh, that barrier there did not allow a tandem through. You could have carried a bike over the top. But here we are on the long straight stretch of the Nidderdale Railway. And here we are on the viaduct. And pretty spectacular views from the top. It's a nice high viaduct uh, with the river underneath. And then in almost complete darkness, we head back. Doesn't do time-lapse dark very well. Yep, we maybe spent a bit too much time in Ripon. But along the side of the, the big park here, we did take a bit of a shortcut through just to get away from the noise of the road because it was in the middle of rush hour and then back out and we join the main road and back to our car. So here's a summary of the route starting at A just above King Hall there on the left uh, at the bottom and then we work our way up Studley etc. So do get our details from our Kamut page which is Paul and Diane on the tandem and this was the Harrogate Rip and Loop uh, it's 28 miles long, about 900 feet of climb altogether. And we've got a GPX file on there, which you could download and then follow our route. Thank you for watching. We'd love you to subscribe and give us a thumbs up as well uh, for this video, because that will help. And we've got some cracking rides coming up fairly soon. So a couple more in Yorkshire. And um, then after that, We've got a few in the Surrey Hills. Take care.